Hey fellow figure skating fans, it's Justin here again, aka Justin Lambchop on Twitter, back to finally make my video with my predictions on the ladies discipline at the upcoming 2015 US National Figure Skating Championships. I am so excited, Nationals is just about two weeks away, and the ladies discipline is obviously my most favorite of them all. So let's get right into it. The fight for the gold medal, I believe, is between two ladies and it's going to be close and pretty much it depends on whoever is clean in this competition those two ladies are as you as most of you have guessed are ashley wagner and gracie gold it's really tough to predict who will end up on top gracie has the difficult technical content and ashley wagner has the um higher program component marks so it's just going to depend on who's clean that day. And both skaters have actually had um, some issues in the past uh, with pressure at a competition. Um, if I had to make my prediction right now and choose, I would definitely go with Ashley Wagner for a few reasons. Um, she did skate lights out for her long program at the Grand Prix Final and added difficult content. The triple flip, triple toe combination was clean. And she also attempted the triple loop, triple sow cow combination and stayed on her feet. Granted that the triple sow cow was under rotated, but I'm pretty sure her and Raphael Aratunian are working really hard on that combination up until nationals. Also, Gracie Gold is recovering from a light injury. Doesn't seem like the injury had such an impact on her skating. She's been up loading videos on Instagram with her uh, completing triple jumps. So it's going to be interesting to see. I think Ashley Wagner has higher program component scores. So if Gracie Gold and Ashley are both clean, I think the edge would be given to Ashley. Um, everyone remembers, though, last year at Boston, Ashley had a really tough time at Nationals. Hopefully that does not happen again. And I don't think it will. But it would be exciting to see Ashley Wagner win her third national title. It'll be awesome. But Gracie Gold definitely has a chance as well. She won last year by quite a margin over the other ladies. So it could definitely be a repeat if she's clean. Now let's talk about the fight to land on the podium or for the bronze medal. I think there's a few girls to look out for. Uh, one of the favorites would probably be Paulina Edmonds who actually had a rough start this season on the Grand Prix series. She's skated okay long programs, but really missed her jumps in the short programs. And that actually worries me quite a bit. However, the technical content is there. The technique of her elements is sound. She's a good spinner. Low, low program component marks, but she definitely has a good shot at the bronze medal. The next skater that I think has a shot is Samantha Cesaro, and she's probably really hungry for that podium finish at Nationals. She skated really well at Skate America, good energy, but kind of lost some of that, that energy that she had when she skated at Trophy Eric Bompard. That's a little worrisome for me, but I hope she can bounce back and train really well. In her short program, she added the triple flip, triple loop combination big point getter. So if she lands at triple loop cleanly, she should put up a pretty good score after the short program. And in the long program, she also has, I think it's a loop sow cow or flip sow cow, uh, one of those. So she's adding in more difficult content. Girl also needs to uh, work on her spins a bit more, making sure they're at least a level three, if not a level four. I think it could be done. And the next lady I say would have a chance would be Courtney Hicks. Courtney Hicks had an okay showing as well on the Grand Prix series. Uh, most of you probably know Courtney Hicks is a great jumper, nice height. However, she lacks the control on her landings and she sometimes doesn't check them. And also, she has a tendency to pop her second triple in the planned triple-triple combination. So she's just going to have to work on controlling her elements, taking her time, and not rushing 
through um, through her jumps in her programs. But she definitely has a shot, especially if she's clean and the other ladies falter. And then another skater I would say would be Mariah Nagasu. It's tough adding her to the fight for the bronze medal because she's known as for under under rotating her jumps many times and she doesn't completely look like looks like she likes skating you know there's not she's not as expressive as she once was she doesn't have that spark as she once did but if she if she stays clean there's a chance for her to end up on the podium definitely but yeah, Mariah, Mariah's a tough one. What do you all think? And let's see, some dark horses for a top five finish. I would say Hannah Miller, who's been improving with her senior B competitions. Ashley Kane, who did not do so well in her um, Grand Prix events this season. And Christina Gal, who looked like she did not really enjoy skating <laughs> on the Grand Prix series at her events. And who am I missing? So I said Hannah Miller, Christina Gao, and Ashley Kane. I'm not sure if anyone else stands out to me. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up this video with my final predictions. First place, Ashley Wagner. I think she will win the title again. Second place, Gracie Gold. And third place, I think it's going to be Paulina Edmonds. However, I want it to be Samantha Cesario. But I think Paulina will get the bronze. I think Samantha will go pewter. And Courtney Hicks will get fifth. Yes. Um, I totally expect to be wrong, by the way. Because Nationals is always an interesting event to predict. And I expect to be wrong on a few of those. But let's see how the ladies do. Everyone, let me know your opinions. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. And we'll create a discussion. Otherwise, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.